or um, a new building, it unlocks some technology for us. So this week, we're going to start out with just Warbirds. Uh, and then uh, as we progress down in Caption Airfields, we, you know, unlock kind of Gen 1, Gen 2 jets. Um, Working our way south, and and obviously as you get further south, it gets a bit more challenging. You know the enemy defenses are a bit stronger, and by the end of the campaign, we'll we'll be in Gen Four jets. So don't panic if you're desperate to fly your uh, your F eighteen or something. Uh, you'll get a chance. In terms of the actual story of the campaign, as I said, completely fictional. I've made it up. But uh, what we're going to do is pretend that the uh, Grim Reapers have been contacted by a, uh, a bunch of rebels in an unnamed Caribbean uh, country. Uh, and uh, they need our help. Uh, basically, the, the president there, uh, he's an evil dictator. He's, he's strangely good looking, though, I have to admit. There's a, a nice picture of him in the sign-up sheet. He is very um, handsome, isn't he? <laughs> he's very handsome, especially with all his medals. Um, it does remind me of someone. I can't quite put my finger on it, but anyway, um, yeah. And uh, anyway, he he's basically um, become a bit of a, a megalomaniac, and um, he's uh, taken over the country, and he's even uh, basically suspended free elections and uh, installed a military command, and he's even gone as far as to rename the country the glorious nation of Captonia. Uh, <laughs> I would so, so do that. That's the thing in real life. I would literally do that. Uh, so wait, you're so, the enemy. Yeah, so so this uh, this uh, terrible dictator uh, with his Captonian armed forces, um, basically the rebels have had too much and they want to overthrow him and restore democracy. And they've contacted us because they've found that our leader looks suspiciously like uh, the 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 evil El Presidente. Uh, so they've developed a cunning plan. So as I said, we've got an island hop all the way down south. Um, but the first thing we're going to do, because at the moment we're just a bunch of foot soldiers on a you know. A, We've been kind of smuggled into the country, if you like. Um, I've got some trucks, uh, and uh, Ello has managed to uh, secure a, a diversion, and we're going to storm the gates at the airfield where El Presidente keeps his oh, uh, prized Ello collection of warbirds. So we're really going to hit him where it hurts and uh, steal his collection of warbirds. So that's the first thing that will happen. Um, nobody spawn in until uh, I say so. <laughs> I sound a bit like... Uh, in uh, the Italian job, you know, where he says, uh, remember, it's important we work together as a team, which means you all do everything I tell you to do. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so, yeah, basically, I'll storm the gates in the truck. And then once we've seized the airfield, you'll see there's a message. And then you can spawn in the warbird of your choice from El Presidente's collection. Uh, with that, I'm going to go on to the actual detailed objectives now. Uh, work my way through uh, the camp, uh, the tabs at the bottom. Uh, as I explained, uh, you've already got the campaign progress overview I gave you there about you know unlocking a kind of tech tree of different. Um, aircraft um the the targets for this week as i said initially we're, we're seizing the airfield in saipan so um what we will then have to do is to basically secure control of the whole island so in order to do that we need to destroy the barracks uh and the warbirds probably be the best place to do that uh there's a collection of infantry and bdrm scout cars there so you know those of you with 30 mil cannon should be okay otherwise you can take bombs and rockets uh, the second uh, objective is to secure the workshop at the port. Now, that, that's quite important because um, we're using a, a mod that I'll talk about at the end uh, on the server side here, um, and it has CTLD in it. But basically, long story short, the workshop is where all the arms are. So we start off with just transport hellos. If in the next mission they want to be able to use rockets and, and other uh, weapons on those MI8s and Hueys, then we need to seize the workshop, spawn some crates, and ferry them back to the airfield. We've also been uh, tipped off uh, that the workshop has some other goodies there, but I'll talk about that as, uh, as we go through the uh, tabs at the bottom. <sighs> so, Cap. Are you already there, Cap? Sorry. Stone, stone Where should stone. I be, B? Where should I be? Uh, target Saipan. Roger disappeared on my audio for some reason, but yeah. Uh, uh, yes, sorry, I am. I am. have been looking at that. I'm, I'm there. I've been following you. Uh, for some reason, mine's not working now. Hang on a sec.
Okay, mine's, uh, I'll just try and do it from memory anyway. But um, in the targets in Saipan, uh, you can see you've got the airfield there, then uh, we've got the barracks and then the workshop itself. There is some AAA at the workshop that I'll need taking out. Uh, then the idea is, is the uh, transport helos will spawn some ground troops and they will then uh, be, you know, because it's CTLD, they'll be automatically loaded into them and they'll get a little message uh, that says you've got troops on board. You need to then take those north to the workshop and capture the port. So they'll need a bit of support from the warbirds as well to take out that AAA before and otherwise they'll get slaughtered. <laughs> uh, and once they're there, then they have the choice of ferrying some ammo back, but you can also spawn crates for... Um, constructing some defenses around the airfield because I should imagine uh, next time around uh, there'll be a pushback, a counter-strike from the Captonian forces. So we want to defend our airfield with some Shorad. Um, and then the next big objective after that is to try and take Tinian, which is a neighboring island. Uh, now, Tinian is a trainer uh, air force uh, base there, like just the training jets they use for training up the Captonian air forces. So it's not going to be too much of a threat, but they do have first generation um, uh, Fox 2s, um, which you know shouldn't be too effective, but uh, especially against warbirds being a nice cold target, I doubt they'll do much. But uh, just be aware there might be some cap in the area, which is those trainer jets. But to seize that airfield, again, we'll need to take out some AAA, uh, and then the uh, choppers will need to take some ground forces, ferry them across the water there um, to then seize the, the airfield. Uh, after that, uh, there's also uh, in the north of Tinian, there's actually a, a helicopter base there from the Captonian army. Uh, and if the choppers have time to assault that, they can take that and then they'll unlock uh, some gazelles and some hinds for, for next week. Uh, otherwise, then you've just got the enemy air tab, and there's just a photo there. Uh, as you can see, we're uh, using the Aristoc <laughs> Aristocism. I'm pronouncing it wrong, but the nice red and black skins that were done by uh, proper Charlie. So thanks, Charlie, for letting us use that. Uh, it's just to make them nice and high visibility for, for dogfighting. So keep an eye out for those guys, because, you know, they might try and interfere and shoot down our choppers or something. So uh, take those out, all birds, please. And then the final tab, there's just some instructions about the mod we're using. It's called DSMC. Um, it uh, allows persistence. Um, so it's great. It basically generates a save file, uh, which uh, saves a, a lot of work for me. Um, it basically sort of remembers um, what's been built and what's been destroyed. Uh, but it also has some built-in features like uh, CTLD as well. And uh, there's information there for the choppers about you know, where you generate uh, crates. And then you'll see at our airfield, there's a green bunker, uh, which is the armory that you need to ferry ammunition back to. Um, otherwise, uh, happy to take questions. Saipan, uh, uh, break. Tinian Airfield, once we've blown up the victors, do we land there? Is it ours? Yeah, that's right. So what you need to do is, is, is blow up all the AAA and there's a couple of scout cars around there as well, those BDRM scout cars again. Uh, and then the Hellos need to land some troops there to actually seize it. Yep. I assume Saipan, we, I assume we can uh, rearm uh, Saipan? So Saipan, um, once we seize it, luckily it's the other trucks in the convoy, uh, GR have managed to come along with not only a, a suspiciously good-looking leader that, that looks like El, <laughs> El Presidente, but they've also got some antique World War II rockets and bombs from somewhere. Sweet. So long story short, yes, you can. <laughs> Isn't that convenient, Bean? Yeah, very convenient. It's all done on warehousing. So I, I'm glad you brought it up because... Um, Effectively, if someone crashes all the warbirds uh, in their flight, uh, then they need to tell me because otherwise it'll get deducted from the total of warbirds available. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Yeah. How about Buenas noches, todos? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Como estas? Hey, Bean. How are you, my friend? Yes. Everybody. Hey. How about air to air threats? So it's just the only air to air threats are those trainer jets. So they're L-39s and C-101s. Uh, and I think it's only the L-39s have um, uh, Fox 2s, which are the R-3ZS, I think, which is a really poor copy of the uh, Sidewinder Mark One. Is it the 9B? So I don't think you have too much to worry from them. Copy. Question from Sock. Go ahead, Sock. Tell me about this unlock of the AH-64. <laughs> yeah, well, it depends how long the campaign goes on for. 
is is there is there something being dropped here no no not at all look um it's just future proofing so the way it works with unlocking helicopters is the first time you unlock them you just get um dumb fire rockets and cannon uh and then later on when you you have other objectives you see it's marked x and y um during the campaign will be revealed what you need to capture in order to get like atgms and so like with the hind you'll get the the Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i got you you. yeah so this this campaign is planned to run um at least five maybe six missions but they're going to be every couple of weeks so given that's like a month and a half um we thought maybe the age 64 might drop halfway through in which case people probably want to use it it, 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 yeah but if it doesn't drop then you don't get it obviously (laughs) oof but of course, the other thing, as I said about it, with the warehousing, is you can use uh, the airframes from the previous week and the next week, right? So, if you want to fly warbirds next week, they'll still be around as long as someone hasn't killed, you know, <laughs> used them all up. Right, groups, uh, let's have a look. So, yak, no one, unsurprisingly. Dodge, empty. Colt, Mustang, Whistler, Blight, Grump, Sock, Uzi. Uh, Dora, Jigsaw, Anton, Red, Enfield, uh, first Hi, Stoat, Chopsticks, Pontiac, Spitfire, Artie, Shrack, Andres, Ford, uh, Jug, Bypass, Unexpected, Chevy, Mozzie, Cap, uh, Space, Tuxor, Tanky, Bean, I-16, and that's the lot, boys. Oh, no, it's not. I beg your my pardon. Huey, Bree, Matrix. MI8, Dragon, Macabu, Pimp and Poosh. And that really is the lot of guys. Okay. Um, Bean Poosh. Uh, yeah. Question yeah. about... Like, go for it. Go ahead, is there, a, is there a fixed wing uh, commander? Uh, doesn't seem to be anyone that's volunteered as far as I know, so I think maybe it should be Cap, question mark. Um, what a mistake. Fucking hell. Unless someone else volunteers now. I can barely but... fly this thing. You realize that. Should make it hey, Cap, in this one, you're allowed to shoot the barracks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically, the idea of the commanders each week was that it would be like a single point of reference for telling people what to do. So the grav commander would basically call on guards to the fixed wing commander and say, hey, look, we need some aircraft over here because we're going to go to the to Northfield next because we really want to get Northfield so come give us an escort otherwise you end up with like 20 people on guard respawn rules yeah go go ahead respawn rules bean oh you want me to tell you what they are uh, no bean I yes bean okay so it's the normal respawn rules in terms of uh lag or uh formation collision but I've also added in uh because it's warbirds if you crash on takeoff because that's probably right. what I'll do. Um, right, but if you do, of... if you do, let me know. Now this means you have to fly properly, not because they got Zeus twenty threes, guys. So no flying like dickheads, or you'll get shot and get moody. That's an I earth. assume the warbirds will be cold start if we're capturing them. <clears throat> well, if, fortunately enough, um, the the rebels said they would warm, hot start them for us whilst we're busy yeah, like loading the being. loading the ammunition on. <laughs> <laughs> Rebels, my uh, good boys, right? In we uh, go. As far as as far as radios go, are we using the in game now, or are we using SRS? No, I've told uh, Obi we're not using the in game anymore because it's too awkward. Uh, so, yeah, so we're yeah. now reverting back to old GR. So Bean, don't spawn in until Bean gives the go ahead. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. You're welcome to watch in spectators or whatever. But I mean, if you spawn in, you just won't be able to rearm. Watch right. question. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Global Guard is 143? That's correct, yeah. And I've programmed all the warbirds uh, in this sheet. It tells you which button it is or, or number, depending whether you're Axis or Allies. So Guard is 143, Bean, is that right? That's correct, yeah. How many people are going to forget that? What were we talking right. about? We're ready for the mission, Bean. Put it up, please. Well, question for Push on that note. Go ahead. Uh, 
safe we stay on uh, 3.0 because uh, uh, there's not a lot of us. That was what I was going to suggest. Every, all the helicopters just be on 30. If that's okay with everybody. I guess it is. Taking off from Saipan, are we going to take off on, was it zero, yeah, seven, to avoid overflying the barracks on takeoff? Barracks are miles away, aren't they, RT? No, they look to be just a short distance to the northwest, but yes, sort of almost on the airfield. Yeah, I suggest we will take off, rather than dribs and drabs, I suggest we take off, not formation, but more or less together as well. All right, there it is. It could be a nine server. Sweet. Agreed. Try it again. Maybe it's not quite up yet. Maybe it's not quite up yet, boys. Come on, our server. Be good. You know, being in Spanish is frijol, so we can call you frijol also. In the... <laughs> yeah, that's good. Anyone else seen server yet, guys? Yeah, I'm getting server offline. I'll, I'll just check with Auntie. Server offline, yeah. Mm. Did everybody just update their game again? Yes, I did. Yeah. That would be the problem. The server update. No, it hasn't been. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? What was that? Prior planning prevents. Something problem, boys. Perfect. Something about poor performance. Papa Bore. That's, that's what High says in High's language. Papa Bore. No, Por... Papa pa Bore, isn't it? Something like that? Por favor. Pa yes, sir. Por favor. Por favor. Por Because I've just watched a Spanish program oh. about robbing a bank. <laughs> now <I'm sure> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yes. Oh wait, hi. Where are you from? Uh, Me Mexico, actually, guys. Oh, yeah. okay. Chico. Southeast Mexico, close to Cancun, close to twenty minutes away, a beautiful beach down here. Oh, oh. yeah, boy. Yeah. I'm just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, I'm about three hundred miles north of you, on the opposite side of the Gulf of Mexico. Nvidia, you're saying Miami? Miami? You in Miami? Uh, no. Or? Uh, Panhandle. Oh, cool. So, yeah, go directly south from where I'm at. I'll eventually hit Cancun. There you I'm, go. I'm buried in snow. Ew. Up north, like that's, where, where? That's what you get for living in Wyoming. Wyoming? That's where you are, Sock? Yeah. Is your Sock frozen or not? It is frozen Sock. <laughs> it stands yeah. up for all the right reasons. <laughs> and if it's damp, it freezes faster, eh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, about that server. Yeah, it's okay. Auntie's chasing Obi to see what's going on. Obi! 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 It's alright. We love him. Or something like that. I don't know. Where is my... Oh, found it. <laughs> I wonder how he feels about being the new Wagner. Ooh, oh, Wagner. You know, it's probably because I was abusing him earlier in uh, general. He's probably put us all on mute. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has... I've been particularly abusive today, haven't I, Sock? Probably, right, probably just that. left the server. Well, we keep on we keep on pinging him too. What? I don't know what you're yeah, talking like, about. Nobody's nobody's pinged him in like the last at least two years. True. Okay, Grump. Would you, you need to ping more? You're right. We need to do it more. Mm hmm Well, we gotta we gotta show him that he's appreciated. So be sure to ping him the next time you think about Every, it. Everybody appreciate him right now in general chat. Oh fuck, that was so <laughs> funny. Uh, is anyone watching my stream? That made me remember uh, socks start today. 
Appreciate me. I'm going to play it on the stream if anyone's watching. Stand oh, behind hang on. the office. <laughs> Let me get it in the right position. Just wait for the advert to go. Oh, I'll get it in the right position, guys. Might take a minute. Right. I'm ready when you guys are. Man, I'm rushing to fuck this shit off so much. Stupid. Frickin' ads. That's my name. Thirteen seconds left of this ad, god damn it. Unbelievable. Twitch is terrible, and I know I keep saying I'm gonna change, but I can't be bothered. It's the thing, guys. I don't take my stream particularly seriously, and I just can't be bothered. YouTube stream, best stream. My brother's already bugging me to start streaming more successfully. YouTube now stream, best stream. With my brother's already oh, fuck, bugging me to start streaming more successfully. Chill out, man. I just want a bit of. I just want to. I just want to chill out, man. You should get a professional stream. I want a professional stream. There we go. You should get a professional stream, cat. Anyone not ready? Right. I must admit, we've kind of Anyone not ready? Better than it was, but here we go. Right. And I, mean, I must admit, go. we've kind of worked this up better than it was, but here we go. And go. Who are you? Sock! Scramble, scramble, scramble. Let me know when you're going. Oh. Oh, yeah. Witness yeah. me, blood bags! Oh, I remember that, okay. Oh, I remember that, okay. Blood's. <laughs> I've got to go! <laughs> Look at Tom go! Witness me! Correct attitude, boys. Jesus, damp's blown up. <laughs> damp's blown up. Could your afterburner be any more aggressive, it. damp? Oh, damp to space. Jesus Christ. That's flying with damp. That's, that's flying with damp. That's not catastrophic. That's uh, that's what happens when you do a fuel dump. That's not catastrophic. That's uh, that's what happens when you do a fuel dump and hit your in, the, in in my version, but in YouTube, it's just like it's like it's written by crowns. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> right, what's our uh, not pr process procedure? No, not procedure. Progress. Yeah, that one. Uh huh. Yep. yep still nothing. waiting for Monty and Obi. Uh, Guys, I've got a new car today. I'm going to show you what it is. Is it a Malibu? Uh, it's not a Malibu. I know you want me to is get it, a Malibu. <laughs> is it a, um, oh, what's the name of that? Uh, Dacia Sandero? Oh, you know what? I was actually tempted because it's in my, it's in my price bracket. <laughs> uh, there it is. Is it a DeLorean? No, oh, hang on. There it is. It's, I've got it on the screen there. Is it a P or P90? No, it's a budget Ooh. Swift SC3. Um, Swift SC3. For the budget oh. among you. Now I've got to find out what was the Malibu called? Find out what was the Malibu called? It's a Chevy Malibu. <coughs> Chevy Malibu. It's a Chevy Malibu. Chevy, Chevy Malibu. Malibu. Chevy 2015. Malibu. You would love a Toyota Hilux. 2015. <laughs> Hilux. You would love a Toyota Hilux. No, you definitely want the Hilux. Uh, no, you anyways, yeah, want mine's, mine's a black Malibu. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so yeah, mine's, mine's a black Malibu. Just, just, normal, I thought it was meant to be a joke car. Oh, what's special about it? What's jokey about well, What's special yeah, about it? What's jokey yeah, about it? What's jokey about it? It's a good car. It's a good car. Literally, it's a good car. It's a good car. It's a great car. It's going to be like a beautiful redneck mobile. It's going to be like a fucking redneck mobile or something. Go on and give me a funny car. Someone tell me a funny car. Go on and give me a funny car. Someone tell me a funny car. Uh, Renault Clio. What is that? P90. Uh, uh, oh, God, that Deep was an ugly car, wasn't it? Yeah, Multi yeah. Oh, God, that was an ugly uh, car. Oh, my I remember God. Jeremy's yeah. P45. That that. <laughs> I remember Jeremy's P45. Uh, <laughs> the P90 hands down uh, will be anything. The when P90 hands down. Do I get to be on yeah, top I'll just mute this so you guys don't get that double. I've got the <laughs> Buick Cascada. A what? Cascade. Ca Cascade Buick. Cascada. There we go. Scarlet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember Jeremy's car. Oh, that's what you've got. You said that's a bit posh for you. You don't really deserve that, do you, sock? <laughs> that's a bit nice. Have you got the convertible? You have. Yes, you? yes. It's the brown one up top. Uh, what was it? All right. Yeah. That is quite I mean, nice, actually. I kind of like that one. Two four spider. It's actually <laughs> made in Austria. Austria makes that. It's rebranded mm. from Opel. Opel makes mm. them. Mm. It's kind of like England. it's kind of like the Chevy SS. It's also known as the uh, holding Commodore in Australia. Yep, yep. 
But the, uh, let's see, the Chevy SS, aka the Holding Commodore, Ooh, looks like a nice. looks like a Malibu SS. I like the Chevy SS. I sweet. want I want one so bad, but you won't find one for under fifty five thousand. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Aston yeah. yeah. Martin Lagonda. Aston Martin Lagonda. Never oh, heard of Jesus. it. I got a the old one or the new one. Bearing in mind, very bearing in mind, that's the one. Oh my god! Bearing in mind the small population of Orkney, we've got a car showroom up here, and it's got two electric Ford Mustangs in it for sale. That reminds me of the Porsche, or so yeah, the Porsche nine fourteen. Oh. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah, kind of like the the interior the, picture. Yeah. The, the eight cylinder uh, re-releasing the Lagonda as a full-on electric model. Oh, it's all fucking shit pictures. It like Whoa. the first. It had, Ice Age. It had the Ice. first complete Whoa. digital dash. Unfortunately, it just broke all the time. But uh, that is so cool. Didn't it? it does look cool. Didn't the uh, what was it the Lamborghini Aventador do that too? Like a full digital display. Yeah, the difference being yeah. uh, that was made by Audi Eight years later, so. mm -hmm. <laughs> and that looks like a what eighties car right there. Yeah, pretty much. Very nice, guys. It's the, a new bit Lagondas, are, um, the new Lagondas are built just down the road from me. Oh, there's a new one. There's a new one. It's a bit, this is a yeah. bit... It's all curvier. electric. Oh, I don't like electric cars. That looks I like got a, a Last December, I got a Nissan 240SX from 1993 white standard. Is that right? Ooh, that, yeah. yeah, check that out. That's a good one. 15k, you can have it. It's yours. Hi, 15k. Come and put the money in my hand. Put the money in my hand, and I'll I'll give it to you. Here's a, here's a <laughs> question. Have it. Yes, I do have it. We've seen you work on it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, with the price of used cars nowadays, I'm pretty sure that's exactly how much it costs. Now, now between these two cars, which one Probably. would you prefer, a Mazda Miata or a Fiat 124 Spider? Miata. 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 Definitely. Yeah, if it's an old one. If I was going to do a tuner, I'd do the Miata. Both wrong. You want an S2000. Good to know. I was, uh, I was tempted while I was in Miami to, instead of getting a uh, Malibu, I'd get a 124 Spider. And I'd just call it the Fiat. That's beautiful. Can I ask how much you paid for that, Cat? Uh, I paid, no. I paid £4,000, and it's now worth uh, fifteen and well chuffed. Woo! I got Hell the, uh, yeah. That's awesome, man. I got the older That's one, nice 19, 1993. Mine is the older model, the one that pops up the lights. Mine's 1993. Oh. Hi, it's exactly the same uh, as yours. Yeah. I, I crashed it, and so I put a new front on it. Did you, a, did you throw some car. LED lights on that? Yeah. HIDs, also LEDs, or... Standard. What engine oh, have you got? I think the server might be up, chaps. Ah, oh, let's go, go, go. Let's play video games uh, simulators. Let's go. Cap, I'll give you 15 for that if you yep, ship it I'm to in. my house. Yeah. Uh, as long <laughs> as you're within 50 miles, I'm all over that. All right, come on, guys. <laughs> That's like, what, two, two, um, $200 in gas? 50 miles? Uh, yeah, probably. Cap, right, do you, anyway. need to, do you need to film me uh, smashing the gates with my uh, yes, truck? Yes, I do. So I'll come in and let's go and okay. do it. Uh, let's turn the recorder on. Got to get the sound set up. Right. Um, I'll see you on one four three guard then, guys. Yeah, I'm on the the blitz that on the F ten map cap. Hmm. All right. Let's uh, tune into this and see how this goes. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Okay, Bean, I can see you in your Opal Blitz truck and your men. Let's go ram some gates, Ramstein. It's good, yeah. Uh, Hello City's arranged a distraction for us, so we'll see what that is to get past the guards. 
I love Ella's uh, destruction. I also like your van. It's very highly modelled. <laughs> well, it's World War II themed, you see. Hopefully they'll think we're part of the collection. I see him. I didn't realise Opal was German. Oh, there's a guard. You see me. He's going to try and stop me. Come on, Ella. Oh! He's oh. caught! That's a beautiful van at J-Turn! That's brilliant! Great. Thank you, Bean. We're going to get in our planes now. Yep. Okay, let's see. Let's like roll. I'm going to go into the... Uh, not that. Uh, that. Oh, Jesus. Fix you. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that's funny. <coughs> oh. oh god. Dying. Where are the barracks, the gates? Stuff, stuff, stuff to eat me, so. Go with HFARs. Alright, let's yeah, put some things back yeah. on this thing. Copy. Grup radio check on 125. Watch tank hit. Radio control on 125. Ooh, oh god. Ish little laggy. Can you hear me? Yep, gotcha. Lima Charlie. Copy. Oh god. Okay, if I can remember how to fly this thing. Rearming complete. That's a thing. That's a thing. Fuck the plates. I need that. Okay. That's set. Okay. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, so much like. Okay. Oh, why is it doing that? Yeah, I can do that. Connected me. Oh, well, I guess the question is, who are we waiting on now? Oh, okay, yeah, we're all here. Collect troops here. Where are the barracks? Uh, question. Cool. A lot of lag. So we don't destroy anything here. We go to the Saipan barracks. Which, uh, right around here? Mark? Ah, yeah, okay. Check the inbound 25 for.
Guys, are we specifically waiting for anything? Copy that. Uh, Whistler's not going to be here, so uh, say if you're ready to go, let's uh, go ahead and uh, get to the runway. Got a Spitfire coming across. We'll wait for him to get by. Drops rolling. There we go. Hey, Fred. So, yeah, I missed the uh, briefing for this. We are uh, helping some resistance people break out uh, well, collection, uh, warper collection, well, warpers, and uh, going to go liberate this place from a, uh, a dictator called El Presidente. Who looks oddly like Cap. <clears throat> Okay. Thank you, sir. Rudder. Oh, speed. Come on. Well, speed, 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 speed. Really? Don't freaking hit me. Eh. That's unfortunate. sound in here. There we go. Still a little bit more head up on the runway.
Let's try again. Um, guys, the yeah, the leader who loses his CB right, we'll 109, please thing. take off, get in a left hand orbit, and we'll Copy. see you up there. Take your time getting up, guys. I appear to have crashed, so whoever's behind the PF-109 is about to despawn, take off. God. Okay, well, I'm just gonna see if I can see the... God. Okay, so the fire's in front of me. That's what I have to do. Arming complete. Go on, Bean! Alright, Spitfires, if you want to go ahead and take off, that'd be great. You know, or don't. Sake. You have permission to shoot him. Already. I can't get by. I'm stuck on. I'm jammed against the P51. I can't get by. Same. Spit by number two. Shoot the spit in front of you because we're going to be here all day. He's taken off. There's another runway to the left. A lot of faith in them. the idea that the guy in front of me is out there. I think a lot of them got loud. That's my good. Cap's on the clock, yep. Yeah. He already died, so I would assume he's uh, spawning back in. Doesn't have to deal with traffic this time, so he can just immediately take off. Yep. Lone mosquito down there. A mosquito. I'm not even trying to uh, know how to bomb in this thing today, so the most we're using is HFAR rockets, of ours, whatever you want to call them. Okay, I see traffic right below me in front. Let's see if I can deconflict a little bit. Okay, I don't see him immediately, but uh, you know what I need to do? To set my. I have to reset my uh, frickin' frickity frick my trim. Alright. Everything's uh, still in the green, and that's good.
strange. I am just having the hardest time catching up to a frickin' I-16. Ducky didn't beat me. Oh, that's not uh, I-16. Oh. Yeah. Attack already. Probably not. I should have right me. I have I have a tally. Uh, being to Cap, uh, what's the plan? Are we all going to form together, or think that he is the waiting on us? Don't bother forming together, it'll take forever. Um, just head towards uh, Barrack. Uh, sorry, was it called the, the Barrack, the first objective B? That's right, yeah, there's some barracks to take out uh, just off the end of the runway, to the north of the runway. Uh, and then there's also the workshop has some AAA that needs taken out. Alright, Jets, you heard the guy, let's uh, get in the barracks. I'm a Daniel Bean, need to try, keep the weight. I'm oh, attacking the go. barracks. That was beautiful. There's some uh, good, good damage on it already, some flames. Uh, he's gonna pop a green flare over the target. Okay, the RTMs are gonna be, it looks like to the south. But I don't freaking hit anybody. Cap. Cap. Well, at least the uh, runway is right here. Yeah. Stop coming in for emergency landing.
Oh, saved it. Woo! Holy crap! I don't know what the hell happened there, but Jesus Christ! Woo! Okay. <laughs> That's funny. And I have three rockets still on rail. Jesus, okay. Okay. Grump scavenger to jump into a new jet or a plane. I will say I successfully landed, so for you guys. Alright, let's put some things back on this thing. Copy. Oh, okay. Barracks finally blew up for me. Oh, there's that frickin' road. Six wing commander, grab. Rearming complete. Okay. Air metal. Alright, let's put some things back on this thing. Unable to comply. Versace, I'm not seeing any more ground units around the barracks. Let's cap up on this frequency. Cap's busy, busy swearing at Wagner, what's up? <laughs> can, we, can we send some of those folks up to uh, the port there and take care of the threat there? At least one uh, Flak 88 and a DSU 23. Roger, I'll pass it on now. Fixed wing, can we please move to the port now? To the port? We've got plenty of stuff to destroy there. That's an hors d'oeuvre. Check copies. Bean, remind me where the port is, please. Uh, yeah, it's to the north, Cap, so just the other side of that mountain. Roger, let's, uh, let's go, go, go. Roger, heading for the port. Heard a rocket or a bomb hit me when I was doing that, so yeah, exactly. Special copy, it doesn't know. You work with me. Sarkis crashed. All two judgments. Oh, bad time, man. Back in the air, I'm having a truck uh, around the bank, watching the fish. Okay. Let's see if we can get some fish here. Uh, unfortunate. All right, copy. Guys, use the four chimneys as a, as an ID. It's four chimneys. Uh, I think we're moving in on port now. I'm gonna take out this last. It looks like a BRDM at the barracks. Hands is down. This is 27 to 46. Yeah, we'll call that good. It's a possibility, but there was also a lot of people running in as I was going in, so uh, you know, it could have been any, any one of those things. I, however, want to kill this BRT. Are we expecting enemy camp over this island? 
Dead here again. Update from Grump. Uh, looks like the uh, barracks has completely destroyed. There was a BRMDM there now, but it is uh, destroyed. So they, they need to destroy them completely? There's one, one there left. Uh, there was a BRDM that was still there. Coming. It's been destroyed though. Spotting out and not uh, seeing anything uh, left uh, off in terms of ground defenses at the port, nothing shooting at us. Gotta stop firing at the ground defenses, they're all dead, they're all dead. Okay, well I guess if that's the case, if we're having a cap in the area. Being cap, what's our next mission now? We've taken out the port defenses for big swing. The cap, uh, the next uh, mission is to take out the defenses of Kenyan Air Base. So there's AAA there, there's 40 mil, 56 mil, and, uh, and flak 18, and CSC 23, but not many. Roger, roger. Guys, we're next to Kenyan main airfield where extreme defenses persist, so be careful. Oh, that's behind us, okay. Are we uh, capturing the north path as well? Uh, RTC guys, it looks like we're going back to RTB. RTB to original base, rearm, then we're going up to Tinian and the Tinian far. Roger, RTB rearm and then attack Tinian high. Stay on several heroes at the old airfield on Tinian. All copies, RTB. Don't shoot the hellos, we'll probably want them. Especially have longer ports have those east the way. Get off a little bit of air here, we're going really fast. There's also two uh, outpost buildings, the gatehouses, and one building left at the barracks that need to be destroyed. Drop copies going back for attacks. Can you uh, repeat what those targets are? A gate? I'd like. Yeah, Grum, so there's the one long barrack house, and then there's two uh, concrete kind of uh, bunker complex gatehouses. Either side of the bunker, uh, either side of the barracks. Drop copies. Chucks are also going into the remaining barracks. The okay, rocket's set, set for single, good. Final side pan, two five left. Okay, yeah, I see that final. Here's wise, there is um Monty pretty much in the middle of the runway. We'll take off again together guys, so wait before you take off. Special touchdown to five right. Roll long, heavy planes coming. Copy. It. Track long, final 2-5 left. Uh, beam down wind, 2-5 left.
Crap with Winchester and RTB. Everything still in the green. Uh, that's an A firm, past the threshold. Right past final, uh, 205 right. Uh, Stone splash, one out 39, over 10 North end. Fort workshop captured, they are awesome. Cars will take off from 2-5 right when we all get together. Special 3 on inside bank. Indian Grump uh, downwind 2-5 right. Indian final 2-5 left. Indian caution mosquito at the threshold. Cap going to 2 5 uh, left for line. Trump short final 2 5 right. 2 5 right clear. Cap, did you say 2-5 left or 2-5 right? 2-5 left, we'll be up. Yeah, beans clean runway. Alright, let's put some things back on this thing. Copy. Attacking Tinian, Tinian main airfield, and then going on to the far ones for. Captain Wayne, you're two five right for everyone who's still alive. Special backing back to five. Crop taxing two five left. I apologize, guys, it's 25 right, I'm on 25 right. Roger, hi, so ready off, full ammo. I'm gonna do a left hand pattern here, wait for you, cap over the airfield. Roger. Oh, no. oh, two right, two five right.
Albert. Which is actually 24 according to the runway. Yeah, man. Details. All five all the four. The one pointing west. Ready for our second sortie. Two five right bombers start taking off slowly, head straight towards Tinian, and we'll take the airbase out first, please. We're up rolling. Cab rolling slowly. Stabilize. Now we'll start rocket set. Just like I do, hack up. Okay, so we're going this way. Hello, hi. Hello. I'm um, issuing right from your mosquito man. Got yeah, we see. Got AAA flak and ZSU 23 is a long beat. We're heavily armed, high, but we need you to do some wild weasling when we get there. Get those guns firing. Okay. Sounds good. I'll get fast and let me know, yes sir. Gun check, yep, guns hot and ready. Got a formation just below me, make sure not to hit them. Black and stuff. He crashed, that's not good. I don't have anybody behind me. Okay, you're Warbird. Not worried about you. Round's going out. Uh, being. Can you remind me what we're not destroying, what we are destroying? I've had a moment of forgetfulness. Uh, don't destroy the warboat, uh, don't destroy the trainer jets on the ground or the big hangars. Just destroy the AAA and the scout cars. 
Roger, everyone heard that? Let's go and look for these uh, AAA cars. I found pockets on the AAA uh, along the runway. Drop in from the east on AAA. We're bashing her area. Roger, Cap, I'm adding some power. We're going to do a flyby over here to gather some. Uh, make them shoot at me. Order. Drop going for a flak. Yeah, triple A, triple A. Artists flying camp to the west of Tim. Seven traffic, uh, be advised, gun lift inbound, crossing the runway. Scrub check, Black. Getting oh. attention. To Winchester, there is one L-59 remaining in the air. Damaged. Being shot at by something, is it? By what, though? Yeah, I think I see that placement. Going in for him. How dare you shoot at me? Down, down. Special got eyes on a triple A on the south side of the airfield. Drop it from the north on triple A on the west side of the field. Tidy space set, going in for your target. There's triple A also firing from the tech combine. North of this, uh, sorry, south of the airfield by about a mile. They just killed it when I was fighting. Damn it. Another one down. Another triple A down. Drop in on the AAA in the middle of the runways. Tidy, going for uh, a black bomb. The BRDM star down next to the inner. Drop shack BRDM. Yeah, is it nice? How many rockets left? Fish have eyes on a flank shot position, mid of the airfield north side. Yeah, I'm still good on that. Uh, go safe, off, and stop guns. Mid of the airfield north side, about 100 meters east of Fleming Rocket. One AAA remaining at the tech combine south of the main airfield. Uh, plumes of smoke on the other units. Drop in on uh, AAA to the east of the runway. He's dead. Okay. Special up shack the flak, we don't hear him not. Being we've here to destroy the airfield, the bits we need to. Where's next um, objective please? Uh yes cap, there's uh, some forces around Northfield where the helicopters would go, but north of the airfield. Roger, roger. All fixed wing, we're heading to the northern airfield Tinian to clear out any hostile forces there. I'll see you there. Drop copies, moving north.
Shock black. Looks like that's it here. Okay. On the north side of this one field, it looks like. I see it. Copy that. Up has eyes on the convoy moving south towards Tinian, engaging. It's along the single road heading south. Coming ground, Pally. Lie him up, Grump, so I can see him. I got big bombs. Grump, right over him, just lit him up. Sally. Get him on the road, that's just not the trees will obscure him. Space shack shanking the middle of the convoy. Prop engaging in front of the convoy. Still one oh. RM remaining at the tech combine, one mile south of Tinian Airfield. Well, that's it for me. Happy with that. Uh, let's see what I did here. Yeah. Special burning in north to south, video. High flying to the tech combine south of Tinian to look for the triple enemy. Rest remaining BWR. Special uh, eyes on four times vehicles. South side of the convoy, south side. Kelly. All units, all units, hostile farm, hostile farm, north of North Tinian base. Eight hostile helicopters need taking out. They're hostile? Uh, can we confirm those are hostile, or are those ones that we want to take over? Being am I shooting these choppers? Yeah, go for a cap, it's okay, we've got extras. Okay. As I was. The troops that might fire back at you. Special rolling in on the convoy, south to north. All units heads up, still at least uh, three vehicles heading south from Tinian, uh, the north base. Shrek rolling in on the convoy, north to south. Good hit on the lead vehicle. Bypass final runway, 25 left. Use the southernmost fire from the uh, convoy as your reference. They are now heading south beyond the burned vehicle. Oh, excuse me. Matrix is lifting from sniper with troops to occupy Tinian. I uh, still got uh, two more vehicles continuing south. Uh, you're going to want to reference uh, anybody attacking them. You're going to want to reference these vehicles heading south approximately 25 miles an hour. Uh, also approximately 300 meters to the south of the last burning vehicle. Hold on, coming to hell. Roger, hi, Tally. I got the vehicles. I'm running in. Somebody just crash. Oh. Pixel, this has been, uh, there's still a 40mm bow force at the airfield. You're just about to fly over. 
Yeah, I'm trying to kill him, but I have no cannon left. Copy that, he's actually on the north side of the main runway. I'm telling on him. I'm gonna back rear. Hi, we're in the convoy. Good hits, good hits. Convoy is out, convoy is out. You got tally on him? Yeah, I do. After that, good luck. See the white and red building right on the uh, north side of that airfield? Just look northwest of that, you'll find the Bofors. Andre Scrump, you need me to talk you in? Caps on last strike. Yeah, I see a bunch of them, but I think they're all dead. Negative, you have uh, one Bofors left, I see them. Okay, so as you turn in, you're going to see that red and white structure just to the north of the runway. Yeah, that way. Yeah, right behind him is the Bofors. Oh, yeah. I think I see which one is. Yeah, he's out in the open. Between the building and the tree line. Matrix, coasting in, to 200 feet, five miles west of Northern Farm. Cap and RT, RTB, Winchester, we'll see you back once you finish your current target. Okay, correction, Andres, uh, your active Bofors is going to be about 100 meters to the west of that uh, red and white structure on the north side of the runway. You're going to see a T-intersection for the dirt road just north of the runway. Okay, copy, you got him. Good hit. I know runway 7. seven. Yeah, I get this right. Nice, Andres. Tinian Air Base is now clean. Anything needs to be destroyed? Ne not at Tinian. Uh, the north base, uh, there's still several insurgents, uh, helicopters, and a command post. Yeah. Pipe us heading to the north base, check out soldiers.
You have two insurgents that are on the farp itself. One's on the southwest portion. The other one's in between the four helipads uh, on the northwesternmost. Copy that. Thank you. Jigsaw, go for Grump. Uh, Sand, is there anything left for a big one? Uh, yeah, firm. You still have uh, several helicopters and a command post. The command post is going to be on the south side of the FARP. Copy that. Where you see the giant green square, there's going to be a smaller green square just on the south side. That's going to be your target. Copy. Still have one insurgent that's running around on the east side of the far, uh, excuse me, west side of the farp. Now there's one insurgent uh, to the west side, right by that gazelle there. Yeah, for him, there's a burnt out gazelle that's on the north side of the farp, and uh, he's just to the east of that. Close shots on the uh, western insurgent, but he's still running. Good kill on the north one. Grant, please confirm. Where should I just drop the big bomb? Okay, which direction are you coming from? Um, he's heading west now. Okay, so if you look to your right, right about now, you see the green farp? The green square? Okay, just immediately south of that, you'll see a smaller green square that's going to be the command post for the FARP. Yep, Danny. Is it in the middle of the FARP or is it at the edge of it? It's at the south edge of it. You'll see it because it's a smaller rectangle, not actually on the FARP itself. Yep, Danny. Okay, go for it. Both insurgents are EKIA on the FARP. One remaining insurgent is on the concrete farp to the west of the main farp. Just south of the westernmost gazelle. Copy, yeah, running into the infantry. Only got one slap. Better not to use it. That was a close but no cigar on the command post. Uh, last insurgent is dead. Copy, going for the command post. Which was the command by Scrum? Command post is, uh, you see the giant green uh, square just south of that is a smaller green rectangle. That is the command post. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got the dome, t is it the dome top? A firm, it's a bunker type. Well, it looks armored, but you say you probably can't kill it in DCS, but try it anyway. Uh, I hit it, but uh, it's not dead yet, so I think it's not gonna, you cannot kill him. We'll consider it destroyed, guys. Obviously, you know, we, we'd need GBU tends to kill that, so we'll consider it destroyed, I think. Hey, Roger that. Do we want to, uh, do we want to kill the rest of these helicopters? Do we want to destroy the FARP ammo and fuel depot? Helicopters are all dead. If you can kill the fuel, kill it. Copy that. So, the ammo itself is actually on the FARP on the northwest corner of it. Uh, your fuel is going to be on the northeast corner of that green FARP. All you have on the concrete pavement area now is one uh, one hip and three, uh, excuse me, four gazelles. In addition, there's still uh, two gazelles remaining on the FARP itself. Those choppers are all dead. You go close, they're all, they're all shot to hell. Copy, disregard. Yeah, bye bye. 
Defending attack, RTB. Uh, cap B. Send B. Yep, so it looks like uh, Grab have uh, got the southern Tinian airfield. We just need now to seize the northern field, and there's still a building at the barracks to take out. Roger that. Two choppers inbound from the south to the northern field uh, on Tinian. Pretty much leaving it to choppers now. There's no defenses left for the uh, northern FARP, so you should be able to come in. Matrix, if you don't mind, I'll jump in as a gunner. Checks us down, engine quit, so I just emergency limit here. Bypass, uh, final one way zero seven, right. Hell yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's going. Left hand. Welcome back, Mr. Jug. side of a Huey. In case we can also... Okay guys, the helicopters are in to capture North Tidian. Okay. The gun check. Gazelle. Um, you get a gazelle. And you get a gazelle. Oh no. Yeah, 
That is unfortunate. Oh, 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 Oh shit, we'll go Ooh, bump mass did we? Uh, there's still the one barracks building left to be taken out of cactus, I don't want to see that. Can't do it, you need more penetrator bomb. Okay, strange managed to take out all the other buildings. It's it's the long house, uh, the, the, the long building. Oh, not the green grass roof one? No. Ah, stand by. This is, this is the barracks at uh, Objective 2, destroy barracks. Guys, do you know where this barracks is? Because I don't know where it is. My question is, how is it still alive? Where has it been? It's yes, just northwest west of the, the uh, uh, starting airfield. Oh, right, let me go and have a look. Can I get... Okay, guys, we're going to go out and bomb something real quick. Thanks for picking me up. Okay, but, oh, I've been up here. That's the skinny house, yeah? yeah? That lift you, uh... Yeah, that's one. Right. right, stand by. Okay. Skinny house, correct. Look at what. Anybody ever seen a bald mermaid before? No reason in particular. Okay, who's taking off? Uh, Redo. Oh, he's got bombs. Okay. See him do it. Can't do it. Let's see. Racks in the air with uh, nothing but. All units, free fire attack of objective to that long building that's still alive. We'll be there as soon as we can get airborne. Looks like uh, Red is going for it. It's all up to cap now. Thanks for the ride, my brother. Yeah, cap. Yeah, 
indicator for F. If you require a sock on cap or you know where you're going. Uh, give me a second. God damn it. Here we go, boys. Over to nothing. Offered you the direction of the bomb. Bomb her out. That's a miss. Overshot cap. Cap, everyone wants to see you do good. Missed. Missed. I'll try, guys. I, I just knocked it out. I'm knocking it out. Alright, I didn't expect it going in. Let's see you do well. Fire talk on or are you good? I'm good. Yeah, that good luck. Did you have a problem with frame scan?
Yeah, I mean, it was a bit jumpy, but it's not that bad. As soon as you've got the Bubble Tulips in, they hide a guy doing the Bubble Tulips, and it, it's so badly optimised. As soon as you put anything Bubble Tulips in it, it goes jumpy. I don't mean the planes, I mean the guy that did the attic pack. Uh, okay, okay. I'll try and get, get rid of it next mission then. Well, yeah, I guess. He just took off on his own and went and bombed a target. Don't be in a group if you're going to fly like that. That goes to everyone. Um, right. Where are you being? Yeah, then we uh, uh, we all landed and uh, rearmed and then went back off to seize Tinian and that looked really well as well. Um, everyone took out the AAA. There was just one remaining that, that got at the end. And then Grab, you know, came across the waters and deployed their troops and now they see some, see some shiny nice trainer jets for next week. Uh, and then, yeah, the North Field as well, that went well and, and again, managed to seize it after taking out all the ground troops and, uh, yeah, everybody gets a gazelle and a hind next week. So, yeah, top top work. Oh, no, I, don't guys. Know, I don't know what happened with the cap uh, with air to air, but uh, I guess the individual flights will say what happened. Okay, uh, let's have the first flight to whoever you are, send. So that would be Colt Flight. It was supposed to have Whistler, but he didn't show up today, so I will speak for our, our group. Uh, we took off in the giant gaggle at the beginning and uh, began bombing our targets. Uh, you know, I took out a couple of the barracks and uh, BRDMs. Um, almost immediately lost uh, one of my flight members. Uh, let's see. That would have been Blight. And uh, Sock went after that, I suppose. Uh, I'll let him speak. I know he got a little bit of flight time, but uh, uh, after... We had taken out all the barracks and stuff at Tinian, and we went to the warehouse. Um, no, excuse me, we went back to rearm. I came back for Tinian, the, that strike, took out a couple of AAA and Bofors at the Tinian airport, and then uh, started engaging the convoy, took out a couple of the vehicles there where I went in, and on one of my gun runs, uh, found a tree. So that's uh, a couple of, couple of things destroyed, but uh, no survivors from that flight. Roger. I must Sock, have do you have anything? Boom, boom. Apparently not. Next group, send. That's going to be Uzi Flight. Big Saw, Redo. So basically, we took off and uh, just checked some ground targets. Um, I was hit a couple of times, so I had to emergency land and the FARP, next to the FARP. Luckily, Marco picked me up and took me back home. So I could grab another plane and uh, did a second round. That was an yeah, next group, please. 
Hi. OK, well, stay over here. Um, took off, uh, basically ran cap, um, go for Tinian, saw a couple of L39s, so gauge those, so splash two of those. Um, I didn't realize how slow they bloody are. Um, basically, Winchester flew back, rear refuel, went over, and shot some men running around the FARP, and that was pretty much it. Sure, what were you guys flying? Uh, Kerr first. Correct. No? Yeah. Right, next group. That's RT for Pontiac with Spitfires. Uh, took off eventually once I was on the correct guard channel. Um, flew to the barracks. Uh, took out uh, ground units at the barracks. Uh, well, then they're all done. Flew on to the port. Uh, took out some AAA at the port. Once that was done, flew back and joined the uh, rearm at Saipan. And took off. Uh, initially, I flew cap, uh, but uh, discovered that the enemy uh, flights were all down. So I went and looked to ground units and took out a number of ground units south of Tinian Main Airfield and then had an argument with the other tree, the one that Grump didn't take out. <laughs> I'll let Shrak and Andres uh, say what they got up to. Uh, Shrak here, basically the same, just took out targets at the first spot, went to the port, took out some anti-air or tried, I'm not sure if I actually killed anything, went to the Tinian airport, took out some flak, and then I started shooting at some helicopters on the ground at the fart. I landed a couple of times and uh, somehow didn't crash. Too bad. And I was able to take off again. It was great. Uh, next, boys. Um, bypass and unexpected with the, the jugs. Um, basically, we followed everyone else, a ground target to ground target, um, emptied our pockets on the way. Um, good fun all round. Chevy flight with the mosquitoes. So we uh, took up, uh, I think we had quite a mix of uh, weapons. Some of us with uh, rockets, some of us with uh, bombs. Had a few uh, good uh, runs on the barracks. Then we went for the port. Uh, we didn't find any enemies there. I think uh, the Spitfires took the AA down. We moved into Tinian bombed the, the targets along the runway and some that were on the southern side. Then there was a report about a convoy coming from the north, so we prosecuted. And uh, at that point, so um, big trees, but that's not a tree that shot me down. I just cut off my wing, so I went down hard, died. Any comments? How many of you hit trees today? That's three so far. No, no, that's two. Mine, uh, I wasn't shot down by a tree. We were playing George of the Jungle today. The tree says it differently. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, uh, the BDRM got me. I had, I had an aborted takeoff and died on my first takeoff, but we said we're allowed to respawn if we die on the first takeoff. Uh, so I tried again uh, with a different configuration, flap configuration, made it up fine. Uh, really struggling to get my mosquito to work because it's a bit of a bitch to fly. So I got Auntie and his co-pilot and then we were fine. Landed after the first thing, went out on Tinian, shot a load of stuff on Tinian, came back. Good mission once we got the uh, uh, velocity bits ironed out. Yeah, I uh, <clears throat> did a couple of runs on the initial base. <laughs> that, that one went fine, then went to go and land. Uh, Undercarriage and flaps weren't working, so I had to belly land it. Uh, did a repair, then went out to Tinian. And dropped all of my ordnance on a ZSU-23 that refused to die, even when it was hit with a direct hit of a 500-pounder. Um, and then we shot down. Yeah. Um, any uh, more fixed wing groups? Uh, and then, of course, the, the most important fixed oh. wing aircraft of World War II, the I-16. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I took off, and then after about an hour, I managed to get my landing gear up. Mm. <laughs> no, it's the first time I've flown the I-16 in a mission, and it's actually for ground strafing. It's quite good. It was good fun, and the and the rockets were quite pokey as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, blew a bit of stuff up, and then uh, came back rearmed, and uh, blew a bit more stuff up at the airfield, and uh, yeah, and then uh, but basically just watched over what everybody was doing for the rest of the mission. Hundred boys, right? Uh, Saturn choppers. I only saw you at the very end, so I have no idea. I guess you were kind of you know clearing up after when we'd gone into cleared places. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, we uh, held at the field until the barracks were pretty well destroyed and then uh, followed a fixed wing up to the Saipan port and uh, landed there probably within a couple of minutes after you guys got done there. Um, the LZ was kind of small, so we were only getting a couple of helicopters in there at the time and then pretty much split up, uh, moved a chaparral <sighs> down to uh, Saipan airport and uh, helped take over the FARP. That's good, guys. Yeah, for the Hueys, a um, bit of a wait at, to the, at the start. Followed the uh, hips up to the port, dropped off our troops. I picked up some uh, missiles in a crate, took them back. Um, Brest did like so, so, uh, similar. Uh, landed back on, refueled, and by that stage, the Tinian bases had been cleared. So I thought it was a good idea to take some troops down to the airfield. And Macabo and I were take the troops down there. He landed the troops at Tinian Airfield, and I did the ones, I think he then picked them up, we both dropped them at uh, the far. So mission completed. Well done, boys. That was good. Right, uh, anything else, guys? Mission complete otherwise? Uh, Thank so you good. so much for the mission today. That was so much fun. Uh, I glad yep, you enjoyed I enjoyed it. it. Get practicing your L39 and your C101 for next week. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> yep. I, 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 you know what, though? It's funny because we just opened the hangar and we found in mothballs all these really nice old cold Can you believe it? Well. Can yes. you believe it? Amazing. Let me guess, they're all hot started for us. Bonus. Uh, they, yeah. they will be. So you actually also get Sabres and MiG-15s yes. and MiG-19s next week. As well. And well done for your um, A-team style entry to the base as well. Very sexy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> right, guys, well done. I'm going to go and put it together, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks for the next mission. Yeah, Bye-bye